Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back and tuning in. I'm sorry that I've been busy with work dudes. It's it's been hectic. I've been trying to put in all that overtime and trying to get all that money to get my race car all together. So I like the money. Um, I'm trying to build that race car. You guys know it. So I'm trying to get these. I'm trying to be able to afford and not be a broke boy out here, you know? But yeah, guys, welcome back. Appreciate you guys. Missed all of you guys so much. And I know you guys missed me. You guys missed this cute freaking face. You guys missed me talking to you guys. I know you guys did. So I thought I'd bring it back on my day off. I'm trying to jump back into you guys' lives right now. Keep you guys updated on how the build's going, what's new so far. <laughs> I still need to get an alignment. I need to raise the front about a quarter inch so that the alignment tool can basically fit where the fender is and be able to turn back and forth to get the proper alignment. So I have an appointment Friday. So yeah, I have to do, I have an appointment Friday for that. And then from there I can play with the fitment and you guys can see how the S2K will look. I still have a couple more parts coming in. They're taking forever to get here. UPS is lagging so hard. So stay tuned on that. So from the title of this video, you guys can understand that we're gonna be fixing a curb rash wheel. Before I even get into this, let me just say this is an accident. This was not on purpose. We were installing something on his SRT, um, excuse me, his scat pack, and saw in my previous vlog when I was installing the uh, the control arms with John that we bought an overhanger or a canopy, I guess you could say, and we were opening that up, me and my boy Austin. How I had my wheel standing up was basically horizontally, or vertically, yeah, vertically. We were paying attention, we were talking, whatnot, just hyped up about putting the banner on his car, and he accidentally, he accidentally hit the wheel, and that caused the wheel to freaking fall on the face. So I got a little bit of essentially curb rash on the facing of the wheels. I've been, I was legit, legitly stunned. Like I looked at him like just the bearish, just my soul left my body. I looked at him just in disgust for a second. I I personally never fixed a curb rashed wheel, so I thought to myself, it's it's alright, bro. Like it'll be good content for you guys to see like how how the wheels will turn out if I fix them up, which I am today. Shit happens, you know. It, it's okay, you know. So it is what it is. If you guys want to see that goofball? I'm gonna post up a picture right about now. Austin, I love you, bro. You're a piece of shit for what you did. Oh, no hate towards you at all. I'm okay with it. Shit happens, bro. Not mad at you. Don't think that anymore. <laughs> So guys, just something that you you people can know about me is I'm basically a perfectionist, so I need everything to be on point. I don't like doing sh like doing stuff like half-ass. That's just not how I am. I have to have it good, like not even good, like great. Everything has to be perfect, essentially, you know, at least in my eyes, you know. Like I was saying, the curb rush wheel isn't super bad. And I can't in the back of my I can't have that that knowing of just damn this work this wheel's curved, you know. So so I'm gonna end up fixing them a very I don't want to say cheap, but it's going to be a very affordable way. I, I, how I'm seeing this is it's a blessing and a curse, you know? Farther back video, you guys heard me talking about how I wanted white ESRs, okay? So, yeah, you guys pretty much got an idea. I'm going to be painting the wheels white today. But before I show you guys the materials that I'm going to be using to paint the wheels today, all four of them, not just this one, obviously, because that'd be weird. I'm going to show you guys the damage. You guys ready? Yeah. And to most of you guys, this isn't going to be like... This isn't gonna seem very severe, but like I said, I'm a perfectionist and I can't mentally have that state of being that I have curb rash wheels on there. Yeah, yeah, you could probably see it over the paint. I mean, under the paint, but I'm gonna try my best to even it out with sanding paper, but I'm gonna show you guys the wheels right about now. All right, there you guys go. There's one side. The good thing is that it's not, come on, focus, baby, focus, there we go. It's not too deep. So essentially if I sand it with like a six like a six hundred grit sandpaper it should be fine. Even like a twelve hundred. Yeah, see it's not too bad. Focus. It's not deep at all. You see it's not super bad, but I don't know. I'm a picky person, so I personally can't go around rocking that. All of you guys are gonna go like, oh Enrique, you're a freaking weenie for wanting to do that. And like, no, motherfuckers, like I need to have these not be curb rash. Like, I am such a perfectionist. It, it's annoying. Like, it, it, it's freaking annoying. Like, I hate it. I hate that about myself. Like, oh my god, dude. I hate looking at, I hate looking at that right now. This is, god. Around me are familiar faces. So the materials that we're gonna be using today. I have 600 grit sandpaper right there. I, I, I bought the 240 to 400. I'm not gonna need that because that's too rough, but since the scratches aren't that super deep I'm gonna grab a little piece of the 600 and clean it up a little bit We're also gonna be using a water-based product to first of all clean the basis of the wheel So before we use the sandpaper and then we're gonna use after to take away all the sand that's left over from cleaning it Before we obviously use the paint We're gonna grab some tape some duct tape some cheap old blue duct tape anything that'll cover it up 
wrap it around the tire so you don't get any overspray on the tire, of course. And also, we're gonna use Rust-Oleum Flexi Dip. We got white right here, got two cans. We're gonna go about seven coats on the wheel. And then lastly, we're gonna hit it with a clear coat just to protect the paint. All right, and that's where we're gonna be putting the wheel. I grabbed just two plastic bags, opened them up, grabbed some bricks, you know, ghetto inventions. We're gonna go ahead and put the wheel right there right now. All right, guys, and next what we're gonna do is grab our water-based product with a microfiber towel, and we're gonna clean the whole freaking wheel, the rim, just every little corner of it, because we want to ensure that the dip or the paint, whatever it is, you wanna ensure that it sticks properly and that there's no like dirt, any debris on there. So make sure you clean that freaking wheel like perfection, like you fucking brush your teeth, like, you know, like you're going to the dentist the next day. So let's get at it. I'm spending all of my dough. I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. 12 o'clock and I'm fucked up. Oh damn, I'm smashed. I got fine woman and fine drinks and I'm. Okay, so it was way too hot to be doing that in the sun right now, so I brought it to the shade. Essentially, what you guys are gonna do is obviously, like I said, wipe down the surface so that the, the paint can stay on there properly. And also, what you're gonna do after that is tape it up. So when you tape it up, make sure that is very tight against all the inside. Like I've stretched wheels, so it's a little easier to put the tape within the face of the wheel. So go ahead and do that, make sure it's good. I actually did a little little angling of the tape, so if, I, if there is any overspray, it's not gonna hit the tire at all. After you have the whole wheel taped up, the surface is clean, what you're gonna do next is grab your sandpaper and you're gonna start working yourself against the curb rash right here. Now since this curb rash isn't very thick within the wheel, it's very light. Let me see if I can focus it on right there. Very light, so I'm gonna go ahead and lightly go with the 600 grit and just rub it back and forth to make it even and smooth like the surface. Tricks and I'm trying to make the shit last. It's Friday. Thank God, little homie, it's Friday. Let me get it, get it on a Friday. Okay, cool. After you have sanded the surface and it is smooth like this, you guys can't see in the camera, but I smoothed it out pretty good. Or the texture feels like the wheel before it was curb rush. But after you do that, what you're gonna do is grab your water-based product and spray down the areas of the wheel from where you sanded it just to get all that debris and material out. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out really quick. All right, so after you wipe off the wheel cleaner than you wipe your own ass, what you're gonna do next is, this is the big part. Grab the spray, shake it up, and we're gonna do a light coat. The first coat always has to be light coat. That's gonna be the basis of the paint. So I would say actually the first three coats are gonna be pretty light. Then after that, you can start to go heavier. But we're gonna go ahead and shake up the can and let's get this process started, guys. Yeah, guys, just give it a good old shake. All right, guys, so after you have shaken this up, it's crazy. Go very lightly around the face of the wheel, then work yourself in all those little edges and on all these corners. Go very light, though. Go all around. Make sure you press and let hold, press and let hold, press and let hold, and, let hold, and, let hold, and let it be very light spray, just so that it can start to mold over the wheel and get that basis, that basic platform all over. So, let's get into it. Trying to make paper, trying to make dough. If I don't make the cake that I I want. I'ma just take the cake that I own. Started with Nike kicks and white tees. Now I rock black vans to my shows. Mixed with the black pants to my toes. I'm like the Pac Man, y'all the ghost. Okay, guys, so before I forget, too, I'm an idiot. I started spraying without a mask. So, what I recommend you guys is, like I said, I'm gonna say this in all my DIY videos. Be safe, safety first, grab a mask, just cause the overspray, it's gonna get you a little high. And I know some of you fools like to get high, but you don't wanna fuck up on your wheels. So grab a mask and be safe, guys. All right, but there we go, very light coat. So what I did was grab the bottle and I went like tss, 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 around every little beveled edge, super light coat. You're gonna wanna let that set for about five to 10 minutes. With the sun out right now, it's gonna dry a little quicker, but still, we're gonna wait about five to 10 minutes. I went around these corners all right here and it's gonna look good guys I'm excited to see this so first coat is done drying we're gonna go ahead and uh, knock out the second third fourth fifth and sixth coat and i'm super excited to see all these wheels look guys 
I've always wanted white wheels and like I said, this is a blessing and a curse, but so far it's gonna come out good guys, so let's get this started. to be smart a little bit and try to be the genius that I truly am. As that dries, I'm just gonna go ahead and prep the other wheels. Gonna go, gonna go ahead and, dude, my stuttering is so bad. Oh my God. Gonna go ahead and clean the wheels, get the tape around them, make sure they're all good. I do have one more wheel that was curb rest because when we were installing the controllers, I don't know how it got curb rest, but it was just a little bit long here, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand that out a little bit, make sure that's flush. Super excited to see these on the S2K, guys. It's gonna be different. It's going kind of slow, so I think we better break up the process. One, two, three. All right, there we go. Done. Woo. That was quick. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I wish that was freaking quick. That took forever. That looks insane. Coming out very nice so far. Nice. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking it. All right, sick. Just hit it with the seventh coat. I'm going to do one more of the white, and then I'm going to hit it with the clear coat, and we're going to call that a day. And the cool thing about the Flexi Dip is that, let's say two months from now, a month from now, I don't like the white, and I want to take it off. Yes, I'm still going to have the curb rash underneath, but I'm able to take it off really easy. Essentially, it's like a Plasti Dip, or it is a Plasti Dip, you know? It's plastic. You know, you know what kind of material plastic dip is, so you can take it off easy and the more coats you go and the heavier you put them on, the easier it is to come off. Last coat was on, now we're going to go ahead and add the clear coat to finish it off and get that little glossy look to it. I lied, I actually did about three coats for the clear coat. What I did is I went really light because the first coat that I actually did I went kind of heavy, which isn't smart, so I saw the paint just blobbing down a little bit, but after it, after it blobbed down, it settled, so there's no like, uh, there's no watermarks or anything like like that. So I freaked out, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go really light. So I went on, I went light on the other two coats, and it is perfect right now. The wheel looks great. Perfections on it from where the plastic or the well, yeah, the plastic dip. It, it hit the corner and then it kind of overlapped, and then I pushed in, and then you can kind of see the bronze. But I'll end up fixing that soon. Yeah, there is the final results. Super clean, that's what I'm talking about right there. There's a little overlap, and where's the other one? Right there, so I'll end up fixing that soon enough, but I'm not pretty content with the wheel, guys. So now you guys know how to fix curb rash wheels for the low. So you guys know, clean the surface, get the tape, get the spray, get the clear coat, do a shit little layers, obviously start out light, and then go in heavy, and then the last two, three, coats are gonna be the clear coat and that's how you do it oh and don't forget to sand don't forget to sand it down depending on how deep the curb rash is um, the higher number you go the less thick the uh, the sandpaper will be so now you guys know Take it easy thank you guys very much for watching the video I'll see you guys in the next one coming soon maybe it'll be an installation video I don't know yet see you guys in the next video deuces <laughs>